And that was what your love was. This great rock song. Like you said, that was a song that you didn't even know if it would be a single. And it was the song of the summer in 1986. Play Deep comes out in 85, started just getting airplay like crazy. Went to number six here in America, number seven on the rock charts, it crossed over. Tell me about how that came about. Well, um, the song was originally, it only took 20 minutes to write. I was in John's flat, which you call apartment. I was in his flat and it was in the corridor and he had a little, tiny little cupboard where he had a porch studio and an amplifier. And I sat on the amplifier and he said, write this down. Josie's on a vacation far away. So, and I've still got the original lyric sheet. I've still got that blind uh, paper, uh, all the borrow marks on it and all the words. Come around, talk it over. Something, and I sang it. Josie's on a vacation. Yeah, that'll work. That's a good little pop song. We didn't know it was going to be as big as it is now, you know, and it's, it was written so quickly. What makes it so great is the way that you put the vocals together, the arrangement of the song, the guitars. That's why I think it, that power pop, that classic power pop song. Tell me what you remember about arranging it and recording it in the studio. Well, obviously it was done by, you know, we, we had a pre-production thing with uh, producer Bill Whitman and we recorded it as a demo, as a pop song, and he made it a bit tougher. But, you know, getting back to, uh, we've grown up in the 60s, we we're very influenced by The Who, because every time you hear a song, even Roger Daltrey would say, a lot of bands would play, dun, 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 but we used to go, dun, 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 you know, attack it. We always attack. John loved cars as well. And that's how it sort of all came about. I remember doing the, the bass line with the drums. Um, and it was, it, was, it, was, it was sort of, it was tinged with sadness as well, because that particular day we put the bass down, John had lost his, his mum and he had to go. But it was something magical that happened with that bass and the, and the kick drum that I just knew it was going to be a big song. I just had it in, just had, I had a feeling about it, it was going to be connecting. And with that, Vocal, you know, that, uh, chose he's gone on vacation. Especially on radio, you know, I was, was always taught, you know, you've got to hit radio running, you know, it's got to be the first line, it's got to grab people. Yeah. And, uh, and it definitely does. It was all over MTV. It's also been used so much in pop culture. Tammy, did you see how they used it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite funny. <laughs> And then, of course, Family Guy has used it. You're more annoying than a creative voicemail message. Joe is on a vacation far away. You called him up to talk it over. It was on Grand Theft Auto, the video game. and it continues to find new audience. But the most interesting thing is when you look at all the covers that have been done. I mean, if you go on YouTube and you look it up, it's probably one of the most covered songs out there just by indie musicians. You know, p musicians you haven't even heard of, they have pretty good versions. Have you seen some of those? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like Katy Perry's yeah. version. Did you see? Yeah. very, very different. That's why probably why I like it, because it's not trying to, you know, copy it note for note and line for line. And Bruno Mars. Yeah, I love Bruno Mars. What a great voice. I know. That's another voice I like as well, because he's an effortless pop voice he's got, and he's, you know, he's a big talent. What's our favorite song on the cover? Yeah, totally change it up. Uh-oh. Chelsea's on a vacation far away. My wife loves Bruno Mars. Yeah. Well, and you can tell there's some influence there, because Locked Out of Heaven very much a tip of the hat to you and Sting and kind of that feel of that power pop. Yeah. And he's got that tone. He does. That will pop tone, you know, that's yep. not easy to get. Your music video has hundreds of millions of views on YouTube. Did I know. you realize that? I know. I still don't realize, I mean, I realize <laughs> how it's my favorite Outfield song, but it's hard to, to take it all in how huge it's become. Being up there with Spruce Springsteen and ZZ Top, Madonna in the charts, you're like, 
us from East London. Like, <laughs> no, we're up there with the big boys. It was just, you couldn't fathom it out. <laughs>